Again, good morning. Yeah. How are you? That's some of you. <laughs> that because of humility, I hope and pray you are getting better. Do you have any worries? Do you have any pains? Some people say that waking up the without worry and pain means now I'm in heaven. Yeah, when you're waking up, no worry, no pain. Now I'm in the Father's nation. I do not think we can solve all problems what we have through this worship, but I hope and pray we see Jesus more clearly through this worship beyond all our burdens. In today's gospel lesson, Jesus worked on water. Yeah, so exciting. Yeah. And Peter followed him onto the water. Wow. However, he was overcame, overcome by fear and started to sink. Jesus, Lord, save me! And Jesus pulled him out of the water. This gospel lesson is a treasure for our souls. And let's uncover the deep spiritual meanings embedded in this gospel lesson. Let's, the first, let's believe in Jesus even when we when we doubt, even when we doubt, let's believe in Jesus. Is there anyone who can confidently say, my faith is always firm and, I, and I'm never shaken. My faith is always firm, strong. Thank you, Lord. If you can confess like this all the time, thanks be to God. Hallelujah, thanks be to God. May God bless you. However, there are times when our faith is shaken. We worry a lot. Sometimes we cannot sleep well because of the worries. It's okay. Today's gospel says it's okay. We are human beings. Our nature is not inherently stable. For example, there is nothing, nothing stable about my body. When I was a younger, uh, some of you think like, Pastor, what are you talking about? You're still young. When I was younger, I felt like invincible. Oh, Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Nowadays, that feeling is gone. Yeah, sometimes I feel pain here and there. My emotions are usually positive and grateful, but they are, but they are not constant. Especially the, when I am driving and uh, encounter an aggressive drive on the road, oh, it's not easy to control my emotion, stable. Oh, yeah, when I was the, the alarmed, oh, what happened on the road? Yeah? Oh, it's really hard. Maintaining stability within ourselves is challenging because our essence is not stable. We are not stable. Our lives are like being on the sea. Just like in today's gospel lesson, we may feel like we are on a boat, but it's still just a boat, not solid ground. But I, I think this is not, uh, not too much, in, in, especially in Long Island. Yeah, some people really enjoy the staying on a boat. <laughs> Anyway, we have been shaken, shaken before, and we will be shaken again. When people are afraid, Peter stepped out of the boat onto the water, 
saying, Lord, if it is you, command me come to you on the water. Jesus said, come. And then Peter worked on the water towards Jesus. Notice that Peter didn't say, Lord, I'm certain it's you. Yeah, please make, make me come to you. Peter said, if it is you. When we believe in Jesus, we don't always need complete assurance. Even if we have some doubts lingering in our hearts, it's important to begin believing Jesus with whatever small faith we have. Peter's faith wasn't perfect. He said with some worry, if it is you. But through this confession, he walked on water. When it comes to believe in Jesus as our Savior, the faith we need can start with the saying, if it is you. Peter's face offers me a lot of comfort. His face didn't seem remarkable or courageous. As we know, he even denied Jesus before his crucifixion. However, Jesus still used Peter as one of his disciples. And Peter accomplished the great things in church history. His faith might have been small, but God achieved significant great things through his humble faith, gradually expanding it. God achieved with his small faith. What kind of life do you desire? Do you want to stay on the boat without taking, without taking any actions? Or do you want to take one step forward even when your face is not, you feel like it's not enough? Although we possess, it, we possess only a small faith, we are not entirely certain. Let's step onto the water following Jesus, looking at Jesus. Sometimes by taking the step with, even a, with, with a small faith, we will experience the presence of God. This might even allow us to walk on the all kinds of matters that seems to drag us the, into deep waters. Secondly, let's remember this. Jesus is the last one to hold onto my hand, our hands. Actually, yeah. This book, the Bible, isn't is not a fairy tale. This is a truth of life, eternal truth. Peter worked on water for a brief moment. Yeah, when we when I imagine that very exciting to work on the water, the following Jesus. Yeah. I, I did it, I did it, like Jesus, I did it. But when doubt and fear consumed him, he fell into the water again. This mirrors us. Throughout our life journey, there are times when we ascend and others when we descend, like a roller coaster. Right? Going up and down, up and down. We experience both success and failure in life. In truth, we probably encounter more failures than success. 
Certain failures can plunge us into deep waters. Have you ever faced such dire failure in your life? I've also had a moment when I sank deep. I felt trapped without a way out. Yet, when I look back on those times, I see Jesus was always there. People say that when one door closes, another door opens. Yes. Yet sometimes the gap between the closing one door and the opening other, another door feels quite long. From our perspective, it might seem lengthy, but God works in the right time and in the right way. We must believe this. In today's gospel lesson, Peter knew that he was with Jesus. Yeah, he experienced Jesus was with him and he walked on the water. But as he began to sink, he urgently cried out, Lord, save me. Even when you are aware Jesus is with you in those moments when you are struggling to breathe, when you feel the powerless, when you feel that you are alone, incapable of prayer, I cannot pray, I cannot pray. At that time, please pray like this. Lord, save me. Jesus, save me. At the moment, we don't need to craft an elegant, elegant prayer. Just call out the name of the Lord. Lord, save me. Jesus, save me. When you feel unsupported and all path seems blocked, when there is no, uh, no way out, yeah, the, all the way is blocked here, the front, the behind, the right and left. When you, when you feel the always blocked, just look upward and shout, Lord, save me. It's sufficient. Just as when Peter cried out, Lord, save me, Jesus immediately reached out and caught him. When we are spiritually drawing, we don't need to uphold or we don't need to uphold elegance. That's nearly impossible. Who can maintain the elegance the while sinking? Yeah? Oh, I'm gonna die. No, nobody do it like that. When our time of need arrives, let's cast aside all pretenses. And with our whole heart, with, all, with our whole soul, shout to the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Shout to the name of Lord Jesus Christ. It's all right. It's not shameful. Just to shout to the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, Lord, save me. Save me. Save us. Save my church. Save my family. Save my community, save my country, save my people, oh Lord, Lord Jesus. When an infant needs their parents, what do they do? Today, did you hear the, she's, what she said? Mommy, mommy, she said, mommy, mommy, right? She didn't say that, like, yeah. The baby doesn't say, Mommy, oh, oh, Mommy, please wait a moment. This is an emergency situation. Kindly change my diaper. It's an emergency. Ch replace my diaper. Baby, a baby doesn't say like that. The baby simply cries as much as they can. 
and then the pay, parent take care of the rest. Yeah, just cry. Yeah. 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 Somebody say that our first language is not English, not Korean. The, do you think my first? What is my first language? Korean, English. <laughs> Somebody said, our first language is crying, shouting out. Yeah. When we come out of this world, we cry, we shout. We don't have to pray eloquently in emergencies. We might even receive the same reproach as Peter. You little, you little face, why did you die? But it's okay. Even with our limited faith and doubts, when we shout the name of Jesus, He will grasp our hands. He will catch us. Today's gospel story conveys this message. Beloved brothers and sisters, and sisters and brothers, as we believe in Jesus, let's dive into deep waters. At times, we will work on waters. At other times, we might sink deep. However, what truly matters is Jesus will be with us at the moment. And he will respond to our cries of for help. Jesus is the last one to hold on to our hands. Moreover, if anyone around us is drawing, sinking down, let's go to them and let's offer our hands to them. When we do that, we will become the hands of Jesus. Jesus will use us for his saving history. May the grace of God be with you and your loved ones throughout this week. Let us pray. Dear God, sometimes our faith is too small. My faith is too small. Even at the moment, please give us courage to step out, to, cl to be closer to you, O oh Lord Jesus. And we believe whether we working on the water, the weather that we are sinking into deep. Jesus, you will be with us. And when we shout your name, Jesus, Lord, you will hold our hands, we believe. Please hold our hands at the moment. And we hope the time will not be too long. Hold our hands, hold our soul, hold the people around us who need your hands, O oh Lord. Save us, save the all people around us. Thank you, Lord. We send our prayer with all our heart. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.